guys and welcome back to my channel today i want to be showing you how to remove stones on a lace okay as you can see on top of this table you can see a six pieces one part of my six pieces cake you can see a silk at the back i've already attached it using a mint gum and all that all right so i want to show you how to remove it because before i sew I have to remove all these stones. If not, my needle is going to keep breaking all through. So, I want to show you an easy way how I do it. I don't know how others they do theirs, but this is how I do mine. How I remove my stones before sewing. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing because on this channel i post sewing tutorials every week a returning viewer i want to say a very big thank you for your support remember my name is chi wendo all right god owns my life that is the meaning on top of this table you can find my steaming iron there i've already plugged it and it's um heating up already so remove this stone remember you are going to use your tailoring chalk mark out that seam allowance okay yeah you are going to sew through you mark it out don't just remove all the stones on your fabric because this is what makes this the lace beautiful okay so to me i do this because um lace is very very fragile they are not all that strong so to do this i use a piece of fabric okay that is very thick and i place it on top so that to avoid the um, burning of the lace as you can see this is what i'm doing already and i'm using my steam okay press it so hard make sure your iron is very hot okay after doing after doing this you see how easily this stone will be removed without wasting much time so now i'm done steaming that part using my tip of finger with ease the stones are removing one after the other you can see without wasting much time you can see so if this this has been very helpful to you please give us a thumbs up and remember to share this video to your family and friends like share and subscribe all right until my next video thank you very much for watching see you next time